My feet is finally here. Home's now. Seven Suvlakis with seven and a half grams of fat or less from only six dollars forty-five. Suvlaki Hut, casual Greek restaurants. Gully again with the ball distributed long upfield. Deep into South's half and Grunewald gets on the end of a chance. He shoots from range. Well, high and wide in the end. Stefanu looks for Dunedin. His first touch, not great. He tries to go on his own here, but he's given it straight up to Vargas. Four ball. Vargas gets Fleming on the right. Fleming shoots, surely this time, no. And the follow up wide. Peter Zoyce, a heroic save there. At full stretch, gets his body down, off the ground, the right hand palm away, and Rammer doing just enough to put Andy Vargas off his shot. And we're underway in the second half, nil nil at half time. South Melbourne with an early chance. Keenan to deliver. Looking for some tall bodies. Now, the wall's not back 10 yards here. The referee doesn't want a bar of it. That's surely not 10 yards. Keenan delivers in the end, it goes wide. Disappointing from the referee. Now looks for Fernando. Some trouble in the south half and the shot. Well taken down low there by Peter Zois. Got his body behind that well. Now south. Looking to start something. They've been a bit stagnant. King. Looks up the line. Goes long. Vasilevsky. Edge of the area. What can he do? Tried to deliver. Rekia. Can't control it. Gully on the break now. They've got options as they look up. Long ball over. Seconds return to Zoyce. Oh, it's not great. Gully player through and he might have been brought down there. Yes, the ref points to the spot. Could be trouble here for Peter Zoyce. Yellow card shown. Well, miscommunication there perhaps. Eddie Seconds header not quite reaching the destination. Gully player slipped through well. Zoyce strands in the end there. Not much else he could do. But it's Gully with the chance to take the lead from the spot. Steps up and scores, no problem. Disappointment for Peter Zoyce. And South Melbourne now 1-0 down. No mistake from the player there, a cool head and just tucks it into the right hand side of the net. Stays firmly in the net this time. Gully now, can they double their lead? Player loose on the left hand side, gets in the box. Shot comes low, Zoyce does well. He's got his body behind that nicely. Now Payne. Good ball for Keenan, uses Payne again. The chip ball through for Vasilevsky. Wasn't too far away there. And Danny Vasilevsky, as we see. Good delivery by Rodri Payne. Better statement there from South Melbourne. Keenan now. Whips one in. Vasilevsky again. Well, he looked dangerous. Vasilevsky loses it midfield. Vargas for Grunwald. Now Gallier on again this time. Oh, but that's a disappointing shot. Green Gallier. They've had the run of the play for the last few minutes. And the South defenders looking tired. Gully through here, surely a second, it is this time. Well, that's disappointing defending from South Melbourne. Too easy in the end there. Green Gully make it 2-0 late in the game. That kills off the contest. Eerie calm around Green Gully Reserve. As we can see, just split the run between two defenders there. Too easy in the end. Peter Zoyce left stranded on the line. They've been flat in defence South Melbourne today and shown up. Gully looking for a third. Ball comes in and over Payne's head, but off the post. And eventually cleared. Last throw of the dice. Keenan whips in. Again, the header down. But can't find the target. Good ball in from Keenan. The 
whistle blows and a disappointing game for South Melbourne. Relief to end it in the end. They're out of their misery, but they'll be gutted with that 2-0 loss. They just didn't look like it today. They were flat from the beginning and they never really got anything going. So the inconsistent form continues from South Melbourne. I've got the big custodian, Peter Zoyce. A disappointing game, Peter. Uh, we really looked like we weren't going to get into it at any point there and then to give away that penalty like that and to, uh, to go down, you must be gutted. Absolutely. Um, it's not nice losing a game and especially the way we lost today. I didn't think, uh, well, I know for a fact, play for play, they're not a better side. But um, when you give them so much space, especially in the midfield, and to come out from the back like that, I mean, they, they look like a, like a great side. And that's what we made them look today. Um, and yeah, we just uh, we just didn't turn up on the day, and we got punished severely. And to be quite honest, a performance like that is not good enough to be to be playing in the top five. So we need to have a good hard look at ourselves because we really need to step it up. Your own game was quite good. You had a very nice save in the first half. You managed to get yourself off the ground to palm the ball away. You must have been disappointed the boys couldn't lift around you. The team couldn't take some uh, momentum from that. Yeah, you like to think maybe it's like an awakening call. Uh, last uh, last week, I believe it was within the first five minutes, uh, I had a there was a shot from in around the box I had to tip over and that kind of gave us a bit of a wake up call and today I was, you don't want to be making too many saves in the game uh, but when you're called upon and so early you make a save, you, I thought maybe that sparked a bit more a bit more life into us and, and I guess it didn't um, and collectively today, myself included and everyone included, uh, you win and lose as a team and today we, we lost quite badly as a, as a team. We've got Vaughan Coveney here, and Vaughan, after the desperation we showed against Bentley last week, you must be disappointed with the effort the guys put on the park. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think the first half, you know, we we hung in there. Um, you know, we we try to we try to build out from the back, and um, look, we 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 lost possession too easily today. I thought, and um, look, you know, this VPL, it's all about you know hard work and and grinding out results, and um, you know, we need to get back to some basics, and uh, before we get back on the winning winning trial. Will you be making some personnel changes this week or do you feel it really is just the attitude of the players generally? Oh no, we're always looking to, you know, um, always looking at training and see who's um, up and about and um, obviously, yeah, there's a few areas we need to look at and, um, you know, we'll definitely be doing that during the week. So um, we have a big game next week against um, Dandenong. So, um, yeah, we're always looking for to make changes if, if necessary. You'd be laughing as well. With chicken and lamb so tender, teeth are optional. At Suvlaki Hut, casual Greek restaurants. Thanks, Holmes, now. My freedom's finally here. Holmes, now. 